In our lives, we don't have time to hear every individual's story. Everyone has their own lifestyles, their own backgrounds, their own stories. Jack Kerouac, a great American literature writer, had the idea of too muchness, meaning there are too many stories and we don't have time to hear them all. We don't have time to listen to everyone's stories, but we should try to find time to listen to the stories of the people that protect us, the people that are suffering, and the people we ignore but are around us every day. There are people working and sweating to make our lives comfortable and safe, and we need to recognize them. These people are documented in the photographs taken by Mahali Nagy, Robert Kappa, Andre Cortez, and Imre Kinsky. Mahali Nagy was born on July 20, 1895, in Hungary, and died of leukemia in Chicago on November 24, 1946. Mahali Nagy University of Art and Design in Budapest is named in his honor. Works by him have been on display in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. He made a living as a painter and a photographer, as well as a professor at the Bauhaus School. He was highly influenced by constructivism and a strong advocate of the integration of technology and industry into the arts. He coined the term the new vision for his belief that photography could create a whole new way of seeing the outside world that the human eye could not. His theory of art and teaching is summed up in the book The New Vision from Material to Architecture. He experimented with the photographic process of exposing light, sensitive paper with objects overlain on top of it, called photogram. While studying at the Bauhaus, Mahali taught diverse media, including painting, sculpture, photography, photo montage, and metal. Robert Koppel was born on October 22, 1913 in Budapest, Austria-Hungary. He died on May 25, 1954 during the war in Thai Binh, Vietnam. He is known as a photojournalist who set the standard for war photographers. He is famous for saying, if your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough. He photographed five different wars, the Spanish Civil War, the Second Sino-Japanese War, World War II across Europe, the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, and the First Indochina War. His goal was to document the war and show the people back home the violence of the war. Some famous battles he documented during World War II included the Battle of Normandy on Omaha Beach and the D-Day landing. Andre Curtez was born on July 2, 1894 in Budapest, Hungary and died on September 28, 1985 in New York City. He is known for his composition, photography, and photo essays. He used unorthodox camera angles to photograph the local peasants, gypsies, and landscape of the surrounding Hungarian plains. And in 1914, he was sent to the front line of World War I to take photographs of life in the trenches. After serving in World War I, he moved to Paris in 1925, where he photographed nude models with distortion mirrors. He saw the German persecution of the Jews in World War II and decided to move to the U.S. in 1936. He felt like an outsider because he wasn't able to speak English well, but he still took pictures with distortion mirrors. He experimented with color photographs and gained international recognition. Imre Kinski was born in 1901 in Budapest, Hungary and died in 1945 on the way to Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Because he died in the Holocaust, he was recently rediscovered for his ability to capture motion, speed, architecture, and city life in his photographs. Mahali Nagy, Robert Kappa, Andre Cortez, and Imre Kinsky captured photographs of people who were not noticed in our busy lives relating back to Jack Kerouac's idea of too muchness. All four of these photographers were only recently rediscovered for their photographs that give a voice to those who didn't have one in society. Judaism may have even played a role in these photographers' interest in documenting people who were ignored in society because they may have been ignored themselves by society in Hungary because they were Jewish. Whether it was a soldier who was unrecognized for their service to our country, or poor people sitting in the street, these photographers captured untold lifestyles all over the world.